What's going on, guys? Finally, finally, the weather gave us a break. We had a couple of weeks here of uh, severe rain and icing and uh, even snow here in Northern California. Very, very unusual. So today, uh, I figure we'll take you guys on the uh, on a flight or show all of the places we go around here and uh, all the spots that we'd like to come. And uh, in addition to that, we'll put the gear for uh, some testing and make sure that it's working okay. I like to go uh, to places that are familiar, so I know what to expect and I know how the gear is going to react. Anyway, so I figure I'll take you guys uh, on, a, on a day of uh, exploring uh, the uh, backcountry here on the uh, Northern California. So let's go. All right, so here is uh, spot number one. We're just uh, checking out, make sure there is uh, nothing there, no animals. Looks pretty good. And uh, it's a little bit of a tricky place because uh, it's uphill, there's a bunch of down drafts. Uh, the air seems to be pretty smooth, so it's all good. Let's call this uh, place number one. And the scenery here is just amazing, just beautiful. All right, get that in sight. Gonna go full flaps. And there's no go around in this place here, basically. You commit it. If you wanna do a go around, you gotta go really early. Terrain ahead. Pull up. It's one of my favorite places to come, honestly. It's one of the most challenges for me in the beginning. When I flew here for the first time, I said, there's no way I can land here. It's too short, too steep, too hilly, too many hills around. Terrain, terrain. Pull up, pull up. Start to slow down here. Nice and stable. It's pretty uphill. Gotta be careful with the down drops right about here. Just like that. Oh yeah, man, this is awesome. Let's go all the way up there, I saw some snow looks like. <laughs> Little bit of snow here, that's cool. I'll park right here, check it out. I'm still so amazed at how well this gear is working out. I touched down there and it's almost like I didn't feel anything. And I have come here many times and I know um, when you touch down, it's a little bit of an abrupt side. Here's a little bit of snow right there. We don't get to see snow <laughs> all that often, so it's kind of a big deal for us. Yeah, as far as scenery goes, this place is uh, the most beautiful of all the places we go. They all have their own beauty, but uh, because of the hills and because of the... Uh, um, the area, this is very secluded. There's really not much uh, airplanes coming here and not a lot of people wanted to come here. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is the end here of the, uh, the runway to give you guys an idea of the, uh, of the slope. It's, uh, it's not too bad, but uh, yeah. It's one of the most beautiful places uh, that we fly to and I love coming here and uh, kind of reflecting things. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, just kind of sit down here, 
and um, think about things and watch uh, watch nature. It's pretty uh, pretty amazing what this uh, that's what the aviation lets us uh, experience. Anyway, so I'm gonna head back to the uh, Kid Fox and uh, off to spot number two. All right, so here's uh, spot number two. All right, I'm a gears down, prop set, jump up on. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. Lady one, shut up. Oh, this geese. Come on, geese. Come on, buddies. Get out. This thing dropped pretty good now. Oh yeah. That was pretty good bounce. I wanted to see how much bounce this thing can get and I think I found it. Looks like Owen oh, just uh, flew by us here. I'm gonna park right here. There you go, that's uh, spot number two. Let's go check it out. All right, here's the lake, and uh, we have Owen coming in for landing. Let's see if we can catch his landing. Nice. This place is just amazing. Look at this. Let's go. Uh, this is where we uh, typically land, and it's pretty nice and smooth. And lake right behind us. Just the scenery, just amazing. And the day today is just an incredible day. So tell me about your kid fog. It's a yeah. it's a two. Oh, it's a two. It's a two. Oh, I thought it was a I thought it was a four. It's pretty close to an ultralight. Yeah. It's got a Rotax 582 gray head, so the old Rotax. Yeah. Um, um, it's a pretty simple plane, and it weighs something like 480 pounds. So it's basically twice as less as mine because mine is 860. Wow. And then you have uh, well, you're you you do not have a 100 horsepower. You have a uh, 65 supposedly, probably yeah. more like 55. Wow, but it does the same thing. And well, <laughs> it does. it's a little slower. It does. <laughs> I cruise at 75. <laughs> All right, so since we're here, might as well play. Oh, this water is just too beautiful. I might get my feet wet. Smoke on. I think I ran out of smoke.
Getting my feet wet with the new gear. That looks pretty good to me. flying by yourself and then people show up so we get uh, Steve show up on the aero track and then uh, we have uh, the Rans as well there the aero track man this plane is really nice it's amazing how uh, how light it is this thing is pretty sweet it has the big tires on it it's a Rotax 9, 912 Alright, so the guys decided to uh, eat lunch at the lake and uh, I want to explore a couple of more places. So this is my ultimate test because it's only so wide and it's basically the width of my old gear. And now uh, with the new gear I haven't landed here before and I'm six inches wider. And this is perfectly a good test for me to know if I can actually touch down here or not. I can't uh, be wrong in terms of uh, how I touch down because there, are, there is a slope on both ways, left and right. So um, yeah, this is uh, this is not a place to uh, to mess things up. And then there's cows uh, all over the place, and goats and posts. So you just need to pick your place perfectly and. Um, and I think I kind of have an idea where I want to touch down there. It's pretty long, so there's, there's, you can't run out of space. It's just very, very narrow. And the wind is about uh, seven knots crosswinds right now. So definitely need to uh, have my uh, happy feet here. So let's see if we can do this. Caution, obstacle ahead. So I have about uh, eight knots of cross range here. Pull up. And uh, there's a big sign there. And we're gonna pass that sign. There's this guy here, am I right? Pull up. And then I just need to line up. Pull up. Pull up. I'm a lot wider. All right. I'm down. All right. It's so beautiful. But uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I was, uh, my old gear was basically for the gravel areas and I'm um, just a little bit wider but um, nah. so here there's slope here I don't know if you can really see the slope and there's slope this way so yeah definitely uh, you get a happier feet uh, pretty aware of what's going on but uh, also one of my favorite places to come, uh, this is the uh, deep water channel. And uh, we have permission to land here, basically anywhere in the levee. Beautiful, yeah. I mean, this is uh, the spots that we like to come in a day like today. Uh, nice and it's, uh, the winds are pretty nice here. It's not uh, too bad. 
And I think there's one more place I want to take you guys to, which is uh, Borges, Clarksburg, which is an uh, airport, uh, private, uh, just south of uh, Sacramento. It's a great place to learn uh, if you've never been on a on the grass uh, uh, runway. It's a first, uh, a great first one to go. Yeah, here's the levee. Give you a 360. And I think Jeff is gonna join me. Hopefully uh, he can come and we can meet over uh, Clarks Clarksburg. All right, so... Um Go Clarksburg. Yeah, Clarksburg has even an idea. Is uh, CN Charlie November one three for those that are interested in going there. And it's under Class Delta airspace, so you gotta talk to uh, Sacramento Executive Tower. You just let them know. Uh, what are you trying to do? They were going there. No big deal. Hello, Executive Tower. Kid Fox, November 17, 1 kilo kilo. We're 14 miles to the south. We're landing uh, Clarksburg, and we have Yankee. Air 171 Kilo Kilo, Roger. The altimeter is 2 niner, niner, niner. The wind is calm. And just give us a call when you leave. Yeah, we'll let you know. Thanks, uh, 1 kilo kilo. Hey, uh, Alex, this is Jeff. Are you up? Yeah, I'm up. Where you be? I uh, just text you. I am uh, just depart the levee and uh, heading to Clarksburg right now. Oh, cool. Um, I'll join you. Yeah, come over. What uh, frequency are we using for Clarksburg? Uh, 2345? Yeah, and uh, I just uh, talked to Tower at 195. I uh, just let them know. You might want to give them a call as well. Yep, I'll do the same thing, man. I'll see you over there. All right, sounds good. All right, cool. Jeff's coming too, so we're gonna land at Clarksburg. I think that's gonna be it. That's gonna be our last, uh, our last spot. And uh, I mean, we have so many more, so many other places, but uh, there's so much time during the day that we can do this. So the winds are um, blowing uh, west to east, so we're gonna land facing the west. But I always like to fly over the runway, make sure there is no equipment there. And there's no puddles, things that we, uh, that we, uh, you know, you, we see in the last minute before flare, if you don't do a pass over it. And Clarksburg, uh, facing, uh, landing on the west side, it's a pretty interesting approach because we have, uh, wires on the threshold of the runway so we have to come there's a wires in a tree so we have to come high clear that and then you can then you can descend all right so the wing sock is showing me it looks calm it looks pretty calm there's two wing socks there. All right, so uh, we're gonna just circle around here and uh, join the left traffic. Yeah, Clarksburg traffic and right to Fox uh, crossing over the field and we're gonna be joining uh, the left traffic for Clarksburg. Second launch of flaps. Runway 27 is clear. Hey, Clarksburg traffic, the Iraqi Fox turning uh, base to final 27, Clarksburg. Alright. So as you see it, it's kind of a crooked approach. There's trees on both sides, and there's a wire, electrical wire that goes on top of it. So I need to clear that. I love coming here, and this approach is even cooler. All right, so here's a 
three. And we just clear that. And then we can just come down like this. Clarksburg traffic, yellow kit box over the river, entering a 45 to left downwind for 27 Clarksburg. Oh, I love landing here. Whoa, that's so smooth. Traffic. We're gonna land along here and uh, let you space, Jeff. Okay, cool. How's it? Is it muddy? No, it's just a little wet. Cool. I can't feel any bump with the new tires and, and gear, so I don't know how it, if it's wet or not. Roger that. And Clarksburg traffic, yellow kit box on a midfield left downwind, 27 Clarksburg. Alright, let's get Jeff's landing. Alright, that's Clarksburg. Our uh, last spot for the day. And here comes Jeff. What's going on, Jeff? How you doing, man? This is great. Smooth as silk here. What's going on? How you doing? Good, how are Good you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow. Oh, man, your Kit Fox is one of the nicest out there, <laughs> honestly. Well, Look at this. You. Yeah, I love it. Look at my new cameras, man. I got a camera here, camera oh, get, the other oh, way. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I took your advice. Getting a... Uh, now you get a, you get a post it. <laughs> well, that's the next thing, if that's I can a, figure out how to do it. I know. That's the biggest challenge. <laughs> And you have you have this for for over a year now, right? No, I've no? only had it since uh, May 31st. Okay, so yeah. it's gonna it's just coming up. Yeah, a year will be this pretty soon. Wow, how are you liking it so far? Loving it. Gonna love it a lot more if I do something uh, with a landing gear upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man, look at I'm that. loving it out here. You get the carbon fiber uh, thing, which is awesome, and uh, you get big tires. Man, this fox is super nice and check his panel out. His panel is the nicest panel ever. Look at this thing. It's a GTN 6, uh, 750. Now he has an iPad in there and the uh, Dynon Advanced Fly Deck. That is super sweet. All right, fellas. I think uh, that's about it. I am going to uh, play a little bit more with Jeff and uh, head home. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.